Okay guys, in this video we're going to be doing a close look into the investment portfolio of Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time. This man has a net worth of $72.7 .7 billion as of recording this video and he is, according to Forbes, the fourth richest person in the world. So if you guys aren't familiar with Warren Buffett, he is the head of Berkshire Hathaway. So let's just quickly go over a background on Warren Buffett. Known as the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett is most successful of all time and he is known by that because he is based in Omaha, Nebraska. So he's not like a lot of big time investors and big time hedge fund managers and venture capitalists who move to Silicon Valley or moved to New York. He always stayed in Omaha, Nebraska, which kind of made him stand out. So he is head of Berkshire Hathaway. I mentioned that earlier, which owns more than 60 companies, including Geico, Duracell Batteries, and Dairy Crown. Okay, so some fun, fun facts about Warren Buffett. He's the son of a U.S. congressman. He bought his first stock at age 11 and first filed his taxes at age 13. And he promised to give away over 99% of his fortune. He is part of the giving pledge, which asks a lot of billionaires to donate a lot of money to charity. So that's a quick background on Warren Buffett. There's a lot to learn from him. His mentor, Benjamin Graham, was also a very successful investor, and Buffett uses a very, very simple method for choosing his companies. So the, the way you can get a, find out how Buffett likes to choose his stocks that he invests in, you can simply head over to his letter to shareholders. It's listed on the Berkshire Hathaway site. So I want to show you guys the latest letter and he lays out his basic simple investment strategy right here. He says, in addition, we constantly seek to buy businesses that meet three criteria. First, they must earn good returns on net tangible capital required in their operation. Second, they must be run and by able and honest managers. Finally, they must be available at a sensible price. So that's basically Buffett's investment strategy in, in one uh, short paragraph. He keeps it simple and he's been doing this for a very, very long time and he didn't become the fourth richest person in the world by uh, making too many mistakes. So I think we can learn a lot from him. So let's now let's dive right into his portfolio. So you can check out this information if you head to gurufocus.com. They have his updated portfolio. Now all of these numbers aren't exact because as I can see here, I know he reduced his stake in Delta. So that's that shouldn't be 70 million, that should be 58 million. And I believe he reduced his stake in Southwest Airlines as well. But these numbers are accurate as of April 4th. So they're they're April 1st, 2020. So they're 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 pretty close. So let's just take a look at it. His portfolio. Buffett holds around 52 stocks. I believe, yes, he owns around 52 stocks and he has them around different companies and different industries. So let's just jump right into it. So the first stock and his biggest holding, holding over $71 billion is Apple. So Apple is one of these companies where it has a ridiculous, ridiculous uh, return on invested capital. And obviously it's a very strong brand. Let's continue going down the list. Bank of America, this is another stock that I actually hold in one of my corporate accounts. Bank of America is a very solid brand and actually Buffett owns a majority stake uh, in, not a majority stake, but he owns a 10% more stake. He's the largest shareholder in Bank of America. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola is another excellent stock that is very recession proof. People have to buy water, they have to buy drinks, things like that. And Coca-Cola has been diversifying their business, uh, splitting up their bottling segment and things like that and coming up with different drinks because as you guys probably know, people are drinking less soda. You just don't see as many people drinking soda as you did maybe 10, 20 years ago. So more people are into health drinks and teas and things like that. So Coca-Cola is diversifying the buying their product line. Next stock, American Express. So American Express is another stock basically simply similar to Visa and MasterCard. They lend money and they make money on transaction fees. Another stock that Buffett likes. And then the, the fifth holding out of his top five holdings is Wells Fargo. He owns another bank stock. So one of the things that pops out for me at Buffett's portfolio is he likes to keep his portfolio for the top five holding. He likes to keep it very simple. These are all businesses that everyone is familiar with. They're not very obscure and they all have good return on invested capital, which means Buffett doesn't like to risk to invest the majority of his money in risky businesses. So you're not going to see a lot of startups here. You're not going to see a lot of companies that are burning through cash and plan to get profits to keep things simple. So let's continue going down the list. We're looking at the Kraft Heinz. So that's another interesting stock that actually Buffett, I believe he purchased that stock 
way too expensive at expensive price, but he's been holding on to it because obviously in a time like this during the coronavirus epidemic, people are stockpiling products and they're not they're going for processed goods and stuff like that, ketchups and, and mustard and, and things like that. JP Morgan Chase, another banking stock. So actually JP Morgan Chase was saying that uh, they were thinking about cutting their dividend and stuff like that. So that's another uh, interesting holding. U.S. Bank Corp, another bank. So the major, out of his, he has four banks and his top eight holdings, half of them are banking stocks. So I'm going to be doing some more future videos on banking stocks as well. Moody, that's another holding company. Delta Airlines in a previous video. Bank of New York Mellon, that's another asset management form, another airline stock. Uh, this is a new one to me, the Vita Inc is involved in healthcare, Goldman Sachs, and other investment firms. So Buffett is Buffett owns General Motors stock. So that's his automaker stock, Charter Communications, a media stock, Verisign. Now Verisign is a very interesting stock, and I think software stocks are very, very well over the last 10 years. Visa, Visa is actually my favorite stock to hold as well. It's a stock. So United Airlines holding United Airlines Holdings. You guys can check that one out. Liberty uh, Sirius XM Group. It's another Buffett is definitely into media stocks. MasterCard. So he owns Visa and MasterCard. That's interesting as well. And I uh, definitely want to show you guys what MasterCard and Visa are basically two businesses that are have excellent returns on capital and a dividend. And they're basically dividend growth stocks. You guys are looking to add some to your portfolio. PNC Financial Services Group. This is another bank. Costco, another, of course, defensive real similar to Walmart and the good thing about Costco is that a lot of people have members they make you sign up for a membership so not only they're making money through retail sales but they're making money through memberships American Airlines so Buffett has another airline stock he's very heavy on these airline stocks even though he's trimmed his position Amazon of course Amazon an excellent excellent play in the e-commerce field Sirius XM radio that's another interesting one uh, you guys don't know Sirius actually acquired Pandora and Pandora is one of the top grossing apps in the Android App Store M&T Bank another banking stock Occidental Petroleum okay so interesting he's involved in gas Synchrony financial now synchrony, uh, synchrony financial they are actually working with companies like PayPal they do lending and they lend out loans and things like that Exalt the coding systems. Not, not familiar with these chemical stocks, but another interesting holding. Uh, I guess the believe there's of Liberty XM. Capital Real Estate Investment Trust. Global. Okay, another insurance. So as you know, Go, uh, Buffett owns Geico privately and Globe Life. Stone Cold, another software stock. I like these software stocks. Kroger, another stock similar to Walmart. Restaurant Brands International. Wow, another. Okay, so he's on stocks. Suncor Energy, another gas stock, Liberty Global, and Buffett has a lot of stocks here. So down the list, Teva Pharmaceutical Industries, that's a drug, RH, I'm not familiar with this one, real estate, maybe they're into retail, Biogen, okay, another biotech, Liberty Global, once again, that's tied up with uh, Liberty XM Group, Liberty Latin America, another telecommunication stock. Johnson and Johnson. I'm surprised Buffett has such a small holding in Johnson Johnson because that's definitely a defensive stock with a good dividend. And I I read somewhere they were working on a vaccine for coronavirus. Uh, to Travelers Company Insurance, Procter Gamble actually Procter Gamble, one of my favorite companies to hold. I think they sell a lot of kind of products that we need, things like diapers, toothpaste, stuff like that. Mondelez International. Okay, Mondelez International, they actually make products like Oreo and things like that. Another uh, defensive stock that's very important, you know, and kind of stockpiling food and things like that at times. Uh, Phillips 66, oil and gas, Liberty Lab. Again, this is K shares. Vanguard. So, Belford also owns some, uh, some index funds. Vanguard, S&P 500, Spider, S&P 500 and UPS. So guys, that is a complete review of Buffett's portfolio. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go, we just went through all 52 holdings. So now let's take a look at his top five to top 10 holdings and kind of do a deeper dive into the price and things like that.
so okay so this has popped up now so it's number one holding is apple guys so apple you guys aren't familiar with it obviously apple is a very well known brand but for some of you out there that may not be familiar they are an excellently run company and the the customers that purchase apple phones apple computers uh, apple uh, music and things like that the company is very 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 strong brand in a wide mode and apple is able to sell their products at higher prices because they have such good brand loyalty so this is a good stock it also pays a dividend as well guys so if you're looking for a, a, a starter stock in your portfolio I think Apple is obviously an excellent choice and even though it's got some short-term uh, fluctuation based on the coronavirus I think long-term Apple is an excellent holding and it's by no accident that it's it's lo that uh, it's Buffett's largest holding so now Okay, second holding, Bank of America. So you guys left some comments talking about you wanted me to cover banking stocks. I think it is a very, very safe, defensive banking stock, pays a decent dividend. And uh, like I said, Buff, one of Buffett's largest holdings, the second largest holding. So definitely a very safe play there if you're looking to get into banking stocks. Coca-Cola is actually another stone in my retirement portfolio. The reason why I bought own Coca-Cola stock it's because whenever I buy water and things like that, I always look for Coca-Cola brands and I've been purchasing the products as well. Yeah, so Coca-Cola is an excellent buy. I think it's a very, very safe stock, pays a nice dividend, and it's it's good for a retirement portfolio, stuff like that. I hold it in my retirement portfolio. Once again, a stock I don't plan on selling. Okay, so Buffett's uh Fourth largest holding is American Express. So American Express, once again, another good stock, but for me, I just prefer Visa. The reason I prefer Visa is because I use Visa, uh, my Visa card every day, and I couldn't imagine living without it. And I think I think American Express is a little bit more attractive because the market cap is lower. But for me, Visa is just a much stronger brand. So for for if I were to choose between Visa, American Express, or Mastercard, I'm just I would personally go with Visa, but I it owns American Express. Very, very solid stock here. So either one of those three, you really can't go long, wrong as we go deeper into the cashless society. And then finally, Buffett's fifth largest holding, Wells Fargo trading at $28. So this is another banking stock. Uh, Bank of America and Wells Fargo, both of these banks are probably are very similar in terms of how they're going to be affected by the coronavirus. Obviously, there's going to be some short-term pressure as a lot of people are be struggling to pay their mortgages and a few people default on lines of credit and things like that. So people that uh, have credit cards and stuff. Because in case you didn't guys know, when it comes to credit cards, the risk is not taken by Visa and MasterCard. It's taken by the banks so the banks are going to be have a little short-term pressure but I think long-term banking is fine you know if the banks collapse then America is going to collapse and obviously the banks are going to be okay as long as America is running so that okay guys that's the top five holdings so you I'm gonna put this link to this in the description if you guys want to check out this uh, and to check out his portfolio some more so that's it guys I want to wrap this video up this is an excellent place to start if you're a first-time investor and you're not really sure which stocks to buy you can simply start with Warren Buffett this is not only just a good place to find kind of good stocks to buy but if you're looking to buy stocks for uh, your kid that you want to set up a UTMA account or a college uh, 529 and you're looking to invest for your children or you're looking to invest for another family member or something like this this is a safe place to start so I know there's lots of other stocks I talk about like Tesla and Uber and stuff like that but this is a much much more defensive portfolio and one of the nice things about this portfolio is that most of the stocks on this portfolio pay a dividend so why would you want to hold dividend stocks well simply dividend stocks have been proven to outperform non-dividend paying stocks over the long Run because that quarterly income coming in it compounds over time so while I love holding exciting stocks like Tesla and uber I do understand the power of dividend paying stocks and obviously Warren Buffett is proof of that since his top holdings all of them pay dividends so that's it for now guys I hope you enjoyed this video about Buffett's portfolio be sure to give them the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content I'm going to be posting more content on uh, portfolios of Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and of course covering some of the most popular traded stocks 
in the U.S. stock market world. So that's it for now, guys. Until next time, take care.